Hi, my name is Joy, and today we're going to read a book about Julia Stark and the Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Jimmy's class were taking a field trip to the museum and George was going along. We're glad to have you, George, said Mrs. Christie, the teacher, but don't get into trouble. At the museum, Mr. Christie began to explain what one of the this place. These rocks are millions of years old. It stumps weren't listening. This is born sun This is sar said uh, said others. When it's lunchtime, as the George wandered up. He didn't find a rock very instead. But the next to him, George saw something very interesting in a huge skeleton with a long tail. It was too much of George's risk. He stopped over the road and jumped on the tail. Climb down. Then he climbed up, he climbed up and up until he reached the skeleton's head. Just then, Mr. Christian and the clock came into the room. Look at the dinosaur, said Jimmy. And look at George, he shouted. Wait, I'm George, cried the girl. The girl heard the noise. Get, get down from there, other one of them. I'm going to get the doctor, said the other. George was scared. That is that who they wrote dinosaurs in the old days? The girl asked Mr. Chris. Well, no, he said. Tell us more about the dinosaur, someone said. George was curious. What was a dinosaur? Well, said Mr. The other ones for a huge girl like this. Suddenly, the doctor of the museum came catching in. What's this about a monkey on a dinosaur? Said. Yeah, that monkey down before it's just any dinosaur, he said. Poor George, there he was on the top of the dinosaur and no place to hide. Just, just a moment, said Miss Christie. George is a great help to me. He got the children a start in the dinosaur. We wouldn't have waited, said a boy. In the interest, said the others. I want to come back again, said said the girl. Well, said the doctor, I can see that our dinosaur is devastated. Well, forget 
And this time, you can come down your called. Hooray! He shouted. Miss Christine said, I have. Thank you for making the big applause. One, George. But next time, try not to ride on the dinosaur. Ride the dinosaur. When the bus stopped from the first George house, the man in the yellow hat was waiting. I'm glad you see you, George, he said. I hope you keep out of trouble today. And that's the end of the story. So, bye-bye.